when we are prophesying, I want you to pay attention. Who are you prophesying to? So you speak to that. When we are prophesying, if we are saying, thank you, God, for removing, um, you know, sickness. Thank you, God, for this. You are praying. That is praying. Okay. Because prophetic words, you are to release it to the matter that you're prophesying over. It goes like similar to the laying off of hands, right? When you're laying hands on somebody, you're placing your hands on the person. But when you're prophesying, you're you are releasing those words to that very subject that you are prophesying over. Prophesying in first person sounds like you speaking on behalf of God. You're speaking, you're saying, of course, every prophetic word is speaking on, on the behalf of God. But you're sounding, you're saying, I am bringing, and this is the word of the Lord, I am bringing the rivers of living water and it will fill over the land every crack and every dry place. And those places that were stagnated will flow with the river of God. The wall, the wall, there was, um, and see, you start prophesying in first person. And sometimes you might change into you saying what God says. Okay, so let's say right now in first person. I'm bringing the river of, I'm bringing the river of life to saturate America. I'm removing stagnation, the river that was stagnant in churches over the land. I'm drying it out and I'm bringing forth the river into these churches from north to south and east to west, specifically on the east coast. I'm releasing the river of living water and everything that the river touches will live. I the Lord my, I the Lord will bring correction to remove the dry stumps that have been in these churches and I will release the river of living water to refresh my people to give them hope and to and to bring into reality that they have a future with me and no lack and no poverty but that they have a future in me. I'm restoring hope in this season as I release the river of God in Jesus' name. That's the first person. Now, if I am now, I am going to prophesy not in first person. So I'm going to say, the Lord is saying, then from this very moment, there is a well that is sitting underneath your homes and it is is bubbling up with the river of God. And you will start having an experience like the woman at the well that Jesus will give you to drink and you will not thirst again. The Lord is coming to give drink to your families in this <laughs> time and season. Some have been refusing to drink, but the Lord says, I will offer them my drink and I will meet them at the well and I will interact with them and I will become real to them. Mm -hmm. And I will offer it. I will offer to them something to drink and they shall come to life. Mm -hmm. And I will say that they will no longer be dry, but they will be in my kingdom. They will be part of my army. They will be part of those that plant and rip. They will be part of those that tear down, pluck out and destroy. But they built in this time and season. Now, the third example is. And I'm prophesying, you prophesy to the Spirit of God. Ezekiel 37, you prophesy to the Spirit of God. <laughs> so I prophesy right now. I prophesy to you, river of God. I prophesy to you, breath of God. I prophesy that you will blow over the land of America. I prophesy to the river of God. And I see that the river of God, I see you, river of God, you are covering the land. And as you're covering the land, you're washing away and you will wash away all the filthiness, the sexual immorality, the perversion. I see California and you, Holy Spirit, River of God, breath of God, you are entering, you will enter California like never before. And you, river of God, will flood California 
and it will wash and wash and wash again. You will wash, you will wash, and you will wash again. River of God, I see, river of God, that you will generate fish because the you are causing and you will cause the fish to be seen in the river of God in California. So river of God flow, I prophesy to you and I say that you will bring life into California, that you will bring a wash into California and that the fish will be clean here, Abasaya, and that the fish will be prepared for this time and season and the harvest. River of God, I prophesy to you that you will flow like never before. And I see river of God that you're tearing down every wall that was holding back the river from coming forth. I see that you are gaining momentum and that you're gaining power and greater strength to just turn over that wall that was blocking you, that was blocking you from entering California. So I say now, river of God, come forth in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Another way that you can prophesy is by proclamations. That's what prophetic words are, is really proclamations. And how do you proclaim? I have a proclamation for you prophetically. And is in Jesus' name, I proclaim, I'm prophesying, okay? I proclaim, drought is over. I proclaim that barrenness is over. The time of barrenness in your finances is over. The time of drought in your life is over. Your spiritual drought is over. I'm here to announce and prophesy to the four winds that the time of drought is over, that the time of barrenness is over, over America. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is finished in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. See, when we are prophesying, we got to raise our voice a little bit, not screaming. But raise our voice a little bit because we are releasing the word of God. We want to release that sound with power and authority. Now we are priests. Yes. We are royalty. You already wearing that power and that authority. Amen. If you don't freak out the demons around you, who will? 